Hey, what up? I'm the In Vegas Style, and I'm gonna show you how to make a watermelon grill. Without further ado, let's do All it. Right, so let's go ahead and get started. So, you guys, let me start off with cutting the melon in half, okay? You guys cool with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna cut the watermelon in half, first step. So here we go. Make sure you don't chop your fingers off. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. All right, so there's half of a melon. That's the first step. Okay, so we had to go back. We had to step back because we had to cut up the kiwis, the strawberries, and then also the blueberries and, of course, the blackberries. Either we had to cut them or we had to wash them, and actually my wife did that. So my wife cut up the strawberries in what kind of shape, would you say? In fourths. In fourths? Yeah. Okay. So Some in halves, some in fourths. Some in halves, some in fourths. And what about the kiwi? All fourths. All fourths. Okay. So, and that's, that's where we're at now. So, Michael Kasiva, why don't you go ahead and get started on the skewers, all right? Okay. All right. So, for right now, go ahead and do like maybe four of them. So, two each. Can I have a kiwi? Yeah, you can have a kiwi. Mm -hmm. Me too. You want one too, puppy? Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to film my wife because in the first place, I really didn't even know what this thing was. But apparently it's a melon baller and she's going to show me how to use it. So we need to get the watermelon up and I'll take over the camera, babe. And you go ahead and... Uh, you show them how it's how it's done. Okay, so basically you just stick it in and you just make <laughs> little balls. <laughs> oh man, that seems like it's gonna take forever. Yeah, yeah. it's easy peasy. But there goes a melon ball over there. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Man, look at that juice. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I dropped the kiwi. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue uh, digging into the watermelon until it's all the way down. So basically, it's gonna be this is gonna be the base of the watermelon grill, and then this is gonna be the top portion of the grill. So we will be back. All right, guys. So how's the skewers coming? Let me see yours, Michael. It's beautiful. <laughs> Chrisiva, let me see yours. All right, keep it going, girl. All right, you guys got two more to go. While mom's doing her thing, we'll be back again. All right, so here's what we have so far. Okay, so the kids have made a total of five skewers instead of four, but that's okay. And note, you can go ahead and use the watermelon balls that you're you're getting out of there and put them on the skewers. Now. The first melon that we're going to use for the base, I've uh, I've kind of gutted it out, and all I did was use a spoon, and I threw in the juice inside here, inside this bowl. All right. Now my wife is she's working on this one still, so she just made the melon balls, and we're going to do the same thing that we did to this one. We'll be right back. All right. So since you didn't get to see how this looked the first time around, hopefully I don't scorch you. <laughs> so, anyways. All I'm going to be doing right here is cleaning out the rest of this melon that my wife had uh, already done some melon balls out of and uh, I'm clearing it out now. So here's the process. My kids, my, my wonderful, beautiful kids, our beautiful kids, forgot to use the blueberries. And that's why we got them in the first place so we can add some color. So... <laughs> Please yeah, so that's where we're at now. Once this is done, we'll come back on camera. All right, so we're back, and so we've already gutted out the watermelons. Okay, eh, pretty decent. All right, so the next step is we're going to grab the blackberries. Let me do that real quick. All right, and uh, let's see, since this one has more color, we'll put this one as the base. So we'll go ahead and throw these guys in. Oops. <laughs> and what this is, is charcoal. Oh, oh yeah, look cool. at that. It's hot. <laughs> Alright, 
cut them all. And uh, you want to keep some napkins around for sure because it is super messy. Okay. So, Michael, can you hand me some skewers? Yeah. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put on some skewers so that it looks like a grill. And basically, we're going to puncture it and push it through into the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you use the pointy side, of course. All right. So let's go ahead and give that a try. We'll start with the middle one and see how that goes. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Cool. So stick number one. All right. And we will continue doing them. Here goes stick number two. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. My son keeps on passing these forward to me. Here goes skewer number three. Make sure to not poke your finger. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to put these as even as possible, but I'm not the best at this, so. All right, here goes number four. <laughs> you dropped the blueberry. All right, can I have another skewer, please? Yes, sir. Hello. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Here goes number five. Okay. What do you think, babe? Does this need more, or do you think that's okay for the girl? Um. I don't know. I mean, I could put one or here on the side, but it might ew, be. I don't know. That might be kind of risky. Yeah, it'll be risque. risque. So we'll go ahead and leave that. So now, all right. This handy dandy tool here, snaps or the snips. This is why we're gonna use them. Okay, so we want to get close to the base of this, of the stick, as close as we can, and cut. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> it almost hit you. All right. You might want to hold on to the other end. All right. So you don't uh, stab your wife. Yeah. So you don't kill anybody here. All right. That's cool. cool. You think that's cool? Mm -hmm. All right. So wow. pretty neat. Look at that. That looks cool. That does look cool. All right. Now Ooh. let's go. This got the pointy side, so I'm going to hold it for sure. <laughs> All right. Here we go. One, I'm two. I'm going to go throw it away. Thank you, babe. Okay. You're welcome. All right. We got one more to cut. All right. So now we have the base. For the watermelon grill. That looks Okay, cool. so there's the charcoal. And that's the inside. Not bad. Now we're going to do the legs of the base. Alright, can I... Oh, I don't think we need that many. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, since it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a small one, I think these legs are going to be a little bit tall. So I'm going to cut them down. And Michael, before you stick any more of these toothpicks in there, <laughs> I probably only need like one of them. One? Yeah. So it's gonna be probably like maybe a finger and a half. Don't cut me. Don't cut me. I just blew. Okay. I just trimmed them down so that it doesn't look over exaggerated, and of course, so that the watermelon itself, the watermelon grill, does not tip. We're not tipping cows. So. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and put this guy. Cows. <laughs> My son put <laughs> three toothpicks and uneven, but that's okay. And we're gonna stick them in there. Here we go. Go. All right, nice. All right, can you throw the other two meow, meow. toothpicks on there, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, two. Give me. Well, yeah, if we're going to do it one way, let's do it all the way the same way. Okay. So, three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of even down. Three the side. For you. All right. Okay. Oh. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's throw the other leg on. All right, here we go, and oh, <laughs> all right. It's leg oh, number two. Look at the leg, Daddy. You <laughs> it's okay. See the all right, leg number three. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and careful, don't stab yourself. 
Okay. All right. So let's see if it stands. It's magic. <laughs> All right. Cool. Now we have one more part. The base. Dun, dun, dun. Or the top. All right. So my wife said the way we're supposed to do it is like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick one mm -hmm. just about a little bit past halfway towards the back and we're going to stick it on the side. Make sure you don't puncture the side of the watermelon. Mm -hmm. All right. Look daddy, look at it. It's so small. Uh -huh. All right, and we're gonna try to put it on about even on the other side with another toothpick. Stick it in there. All right. All right, so we're having some technical difficulties. We're running out of battery, but that's okay. All right, so now what we wanna do here is we wanna add the top of the watermelon. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> it's okay, I got it, I got it. Just move to the camera. And what happened with our leg here is that, uh... <laughs> 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 Alright, hold on. Okay, so we got the grill to stand. I had to make some adjustments because the holes... What happened was the toothpicks were coming out the back side of the celery from the legs. And the, it just wasn't standing up anymore. So, now we can go ahead and add our little skewers onto it. But before I do that, these are kind of big. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the snip. And hopefully I don't shoot at you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on the grill. All right. There's one. Okay. Let's do another one. Sorry about that. There's number two. All right. And... And number three. And that's it. So that's all it takes actually to make the watermelon grill. Thanks for watching. This is the In Vegas Style. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Laters.